He has energies Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what the cards predict for you for the next 48 hours or so. So we'll take a look and see what messages come in for you. It is going to be a general reading, so please just uh, keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out. I will list my email address just below the video here on the um, in the show more section below. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so a lot of mental energy here. I feel like some of you are going to be receiving um, or perhaps even sending off some communication, which I feel like there is a lot of, there's quite a nervous energy attached to this. So for instance, there's something here that you might have been wanting to say to someone, to a connecting energy, and you're finally going to summon the strength to do so. But then there feels like such an energy of worry and um, just nerves attached to this. So you might... You might have finally told someone how you've always, you know, you might finally be telling someone how you feel about them or sharing. I feel like there's something here that's been weighing heavily on you and finally you're going to share this uh, communication or share some sort of information with someone. But it feels like you're stressing. Either you're stressing because you're awaiting and anticipating a response from this person, an answer to a question that you have, or you feel like it's an energy of it's an energy of guilt, remorse, stress, anxiety, something that I feel like is really weighing on you. So it could be that something that you say um, might be misconstrued and misunderstood by someone and it might cause a bit of chaos and tension in your connecting energies. It could be that something someone says to you causes you some pain. Okay, Whoever it is, I do feel like words are a weapon in this case. So be careful not to misunderstand each other or be careful not to um, you know jump the gun and jump to conclusions here it just feels like someone here might be weaponizing their words and their emotions here and unfortunately you know someone is um, on the receiving end of this so whether it's you whether it's a connecting energy but it definitely feels some form of communication now for some of you it could be no communication it could be the fact that you send off a text message to someone okay someone who I feel like you've been wanting to connect with for quite some time and you finally do it but I feel like you won't receive any communication you won't receive any response back and maybe that is what's going to be keeping you up at night maybe that's what's going to have you in this energy where you're really stressed and you're very consumed here there is some sort of it could also mean that if you have been experiencing some sort of conflict here um, or some tension here now might be a really good time to resolve it here okay so if there's been misunderstandings here or if you feel as though you know someone here has been a bit emotionally disconnected from you here you know whatever the source of tension or conflict is for you um, it, it may just feel there is you need to trust those feelings here okay so you're not if you feel some type of way about a certain energy or a certain situation you need to trust what you're feeling here and you need to I feel like you might need to experience uh, you might need to um, take some steps sorry towards resolving some of this tension or stress that you're feeling here Someone here, it just feels like someone here is really weighing up their options here. It's like they're biding their time for a better result here before taking action. Or someone here is scared to take action of some sort. Whether that action means coming forward, whether it means um, communicating here. I just feel like maybe this person is afraid of um, showing someone what they really stand for. Or is afraid of communicating because they might fear it might upset someone else here. But I do feel like... Right now, it means that 
you're in a good space because there's something here that's really weighing heavily on you or this connecting energy you're really in a good space where you just need to um, stay calm in the process but I feel like you kind of need to um, you, you need to trust your feelings but you also need to understand what's going on inside of you and what's going on with this connection on an intellectual level therefore that therefore then you, you that will help you to, to try and resolve it if that makes sense okay um because some of you might not be acknowledging the truth here someone some of you might be afraid to face reality about a certain situation or you feel as though your person might be avoiding getting emotionally involved here um wh whatever the situation is for you here i feel like it's very important for you to um, get some more clarity here and to take action towards some specific situation the two of swords here i feel like this is um someone he is feeling very emotionally disconnected so i don't know if it's you i don't know if it's your person this is also emotional blockages here i feel like someone is very is feeling very confused here um they're weighing up their options using both their head and their heart someone he could also be delaying communication so i don't know if it's you or if it's your person but if you're not receiving any contact or communication from this person maybe they're just not ready to talk maybe they're just trying to stall and um, buy a little bit more time here maybe they're not really sure of their feelings for you and they're trying to figure it out here um, or you might need to give someone the space here to figure something out here some of you i feel like even after a period of no contact or no communication, you might receive a message from someone. So, you know, don't stress yourself out too much if this is your energy with the Nine of Swords. If you are um, in this energy space where you're very worried, you're nervous, you're very um, consumed by this situation, let it go. What will be, will be. Kesara, sara, right? Um, and it just feels like don't try to pressure yourself or don't try to pressure, you know, this other energy too much into a situation because it's only going to backfire it's only going to push this person away here i feel like you've done your part here um and if you're going to wait for someone or something it might be a good idea to give yourself a time frame as well here okay so it's a bit of a tricky situation because i feel like there either needs to be some communication or there needs to be some time out from communication this is what i'm seeing and the other thing is, I feel like there's there's this air of confusion here that's surrounding a situation of some sort. So some of you, the swords could mean that, you know, you need to clear, you need to cut through this air of confusion with someone. If you're, you know, staying up late at night, stressing about someone, stressing about a situation, um, wanting to know, you know, answers to specific questions you have. It's probably a good idea to reach out to this person and have this very open and honest, candid conversation. Call them out on it. Ask them what it is that you want to know instead of, you know, worrying yourself and overthinking and overanalyzing the situation here. Because in the process, you could potentially be constructing stories that might not even be real to begin with. But hey, you know, imagination might get the best of you. So you know it's if you if you are worried or if you're waiting for communication why not reach out and why not initiate that communication yourself and again if you don't hear from someone if someone he isn't communicating with you if they've blocked you if you know um, they're not responding here then that too is a response that too is a reaction and that too is a message in itself and it speaks volumes here um, but for a lot of you i feel like i do feel there is some sort of in the next 48 hours or so there's some sort of contact or communication that comes in from you from an energy that feels very fleeting from an energy that feels as though they ghost you when things aren't going good or they ghost you when the relationship or this connection becomes a little bit more serious or when things become a little bit um troublesome here it just feels like this person isn't able to deal with things on a serious level and it feels like this is someone who's a bit of a fluctuating presence and maybe all they want from out of this connection is um, you know something fun something casual here it doesn't feel like they may want something serious or something that's long term here so maybe the two of swords here is telling you that you need to use both your head and your heart when you wake way up an op when you weigh up your options here and when you need to make a decision
I feel like someone here is talking about you. You're either or you're talking about someone here. Someone here is talking about you. They could, you know, it, it feels like it's in a gossipy kind of way. So your name might be on their lips here, but it feels like they've got something to say about you. It feels like they're mentioning your name here, but I feel like they're doing so in an effort to make themselves appear kind of more heroic and make themselves appear better, if that makes sense. So if a connection here has deteriorated, they're kind of saying it's your fault or they're kind of saying, you know, they tried to salvage it, they tried to make it work and they were the good guy in the situation and they're kind of shifting the blame on you. Or at least that's how they're making it seem to be. It's like someone he's gossiping or kind of even slandering your name. And you might find out about this in the next 48 hours or so. Or you might just have this very strong gut feeling that, hey, this person is, you know, bad-mouthing you or gossiping about you. And look, if you get a very strong feeling, I mean, feelings don't lie, right? If you have a strong feeling about a situation, you might want to trust it because intuition is... A powerful thing here, guys. All right, and these are your messages. So thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, bye for now.